Hello and welcome. I'm on the lot at the used lot, of course. And here we have a 2001 Buick LeSabre. Remember these? This was the best selling large car in its day, including its last year, which is 05. Best selling large car. I like how they uh, imprinted Buick right on there. Now, for 2000, it changed to this body. It's 112 inch wheelbase. Uh, the grill doesn't come up with the hood anymore. See, used to, the grill used to come up with it. That gives you a little more space to work. The headlights are all yellow, okay? Not great. This can be fixed. I keep telling people, look, you can fix these in five minutes per side, all right? I don't know why people are driving around with yellow headlights uh, when you can fix them in five minutes. Now, it doesn't say how many miles it has on it. I think it's got a lot of miles because um, we got a lot of hood uh, paint coming off here. All right, we've also got some Duraturn tires. You ever heard of them? They're Chinese and they get poor reviews. Stop buying cheap tires, okay? These get poor traction reviews and stuff. Stop buying them because you are going to kill yourself. Two 1570R15s, and uh, these rims could use some work too. I mean, oh my gosh. Can we get a brush in here and clean these things out? <laughs> All right, I don't know what this color is. Off olive is what I'll call it. It's uh, as is. It's not on the website yet, which, of course, it's got the rounder gauges, which is unusual. It went back from the uh, old gauges that they used to have across there. Huge mirror, right? Okay, let's do it, right? Probably keyless. Oh, I can't believe it's open. Can we get in here? All right, let's take a look. Open the trunk right there or lock it. That way the valet can't get in there. That was the idea of this, all right? So we got the power seats. Do they work? They do work. A split bench. Look at the steering wheel. Uh, could we get something uh, going on that? These deteriorated over time in the sun. Uh, could use some work in here. Um, uh, not uh, great. So let's take a look under the hood, shall we? All right, since it's unlocked. Anti-lock brake system. This was a big deal then. They put it on the brake pedal because, you know, you look down there all the time and you go, does this have anti-lock brakes? Maybe. There's a vent down there. No crotch coolers, which used to be right here to literally blow air up your crotch. But it's got one down there. Uh, it's digital, so we can't see how many miles it has. Here's your GM radio with all these buttons to control everything. This was a big deal then. Tons of buttons on everything, buttons everywhere. That light is blinking because if you stole the radio, it wouldn't work in another car. Cassette and CD player. All right, LeSabre Custom by Buick. Nice. This needs to be cleaned. Clean this thing up. Let's, uh, let's get under the hood here right now. How about that? Sadly, the latch is broken. So we can't get under the hood, which also means we don't know when the last time the oil was changed in this thing. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. All right, so uh, there we go with that. These were typical on these GMs. They leak. You get this gas leak. People would pull the pump, and it would drip here, and uh, that was always a problem with them. It looks terrible in there, too. People, do you not clean your car ever? More Dura turns. At least they match, I suppose. It's starting to rust out here. I'd say this would be a $1,000 car or less if it ran good, but, uh, heck, any more, this is probably $5,000. It's sold not far from here in Fowler. I like that. That dealer's still there, I think. We Do we have more Chinese tires on this side? We do. Dura turns. And they're thin as it is. Okay, so could you actually use some tires? That rustage is uh, not great, you know. Probably would run good if it's been taken care of. Uh, Engine-wise, I don't know. You'd have to look at the Carfax on it, which I'm not going to do. This tire is shot, too. So, uh, and this one's really thin. I will tell you that. This one's low. Can't see that there, but it's low, low, low. So, you might want to come in off from like $750 for this car if it runs. Okay, so that's what I would say. At this dealer, heck, it's probably $14,000 for all I know. But we can't get in it. We can't look under it. We can't do anything. These were good cars in their day. It could still be a good car if it's been maintained. What do you think? You want to put a Buick in your driveway? This is not your father's Buick. That was a different car company, though, wasn't it? A different kind of company and a different kind of car. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon on the lot.